This is going to be a great pleasure. This, this is a, a wonderful, wonderful restaurant, Asagio Restaurante in Seattle. Chef Mauro Galmarvi is with us. Uh, he's going to do fettuccine al sago, sugo, I guess. Yes. And Bob Waltz from Seattle is the, is the person who nominated. What, what about this dish did you really like? I found this dish a couple of weeks ago in Mauro's uh, uh, cookbook, and it was perfect. It was simple yet perfect, and it was... Um, a perfect dish for our cold Seattle evening. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I'm going to ask Mauro to make that dish for you, and then you come back in and Here's take a taste and tell the boy how you did. Uh, well, this one okay, yes. thank you. Yes. Mauro, the last time I saw you, you were just back from Italy vacation, and Italy had just won the World Cup, and man, was he happy. I was happy, <laughs> and I'm going to be happy again in the next summer. He's going to be happy in South Africa. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping I'm going to go there. Too. I hope you get to do it too. <laughs> Good seeing you, George. Good to see Good you. Good seeing you, Craig. It's okay, nice well, let's go. You. What are we going to do here? We're going to make a very simple dish, which is the fettuccine al sugo di carne. Pretty much the fettuccine with the meat and the mushroom and with the marinara sauce. Okay. So let's, because I believe the ingredients should be very simple, and simplicity is shows by himself on the food. So what, how do we begin? Would you say pasta first? Well, yeah, because what I want to do, the, the cooking time, it should be coordinated with the pasta water, because I will have no secret for everybody, kind of recipe secret, Okay. and I will show them exactly how to do it. Wonderful. So, now, I like to make sure I have my water thoroughly salted. Very important, correct. Because you can't apply salt to the inside. That's right. Unless you That's get it right. in the water. So there's some salt going in. Yeah. And it's nice fettuccine. Yes. I like the way you lay them down. Perfect. So what part of Italy are you from, Mauro? The region I grew up in, region called Marche, is it right yeah. below Tuscany. Where Lydia Bastianich oh. is from. Yeah, Lydia's on the other side of the water, exactly. She come from the other side of the water, but very close. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, that's a, the only part of Italy I've always wanted to visit is really? Tuscany. Oh, uh, that, 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 a whole a area in that area. Pretty, pretty place. Yeah. So the ingredient, George and Greg, we were talking, is very simple. I have very few ingredients, mm -hmm. and it's a meat. And you don't, if you don't like the filet mignon, you can buy New York steak. You can buy ribeye. In restaurant, what we do, this is my menu, the end piece, which is not the perfect for the filet, we just get the end piece and we dice them up. So make you know because but it's still filet. It, it still is a filet, you know. <laughs> but it's, it cannot serve on a customer like this because the end piece, you know, when they come to the Pesmo, absolutely, right. it's a little smaller. That's right. So you can cut them any way you like, and I will show you. You can cut them like this. Oh. You can cut them smaller. You can cut them, you know, for the ladies that want to be, you know, having a smaller bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is Mauro's bite right here. That's the way I eat. That's okay. <laughs> so is this so the okay. sugo? Yes. This, this is, the sugo means the sauce. Oh, the sugo is the sauce. Is, you know, this is all, okay. everything goes so in there. So sugo de carne is the... Is the meat sauce. Is, yes. Okay. Sugo yeah, carne with, means with meat, the... and, you know, sugo is a sauce. Okay. Right? So I'm going to cut them like this, this one, and however you like it, and at home also you can do it, but this is kind of easier to cook. It will cook a little bit faster also. And the key is not overcook them also, great, because they can be... Very rubbery and tough, George, so okay. you got to be very careful in that part. And the mushroom, you know, I am a big fan of the local ingredient. And this is the okay. mushroom, you know, Seattle, I mean, Washington State, we think we're a good chef, but we're very lucky people yes, we having are. a restaurant yes, this we are. state because our ingredient is the most amazing ingredient we get here. Absolutely. Absolutely. The fish, there is no way anybody can touch our fish. That's true. The meat, we got Yakima, we got all our produce. We're in the valley, the best area of the yeah. So I feel pretty lucky. You, you get the mushroom, you can do cremini, you can use butter, you can use, if you want to use the porcini dry, you can do that also. Okay. So however you like it. And you cut them very thin and pretty much the same, you know, as you do. I, I use the bottom part also. With the cremini, like too. Yes. Can. I do yeah. 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 If it were a shiitake, you might just start to stand. Then it's yes. It's yeah. so tough. Yeah. Am I making too much noise for you guys? I'm Not sorry. Not at all. <laughs> no, no, no. And isn't it nice to figure to... out how to do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't cut your finger. It's uh -huh. very important at the home when you're doing, guys, you know, as if as if somebody cooking in the kitchen. By the way, you can add some oil here so we can just okay. going. Okay, I'll get some heat And on you it. got your hand. And you have to be very inside, not outside, otherwise you're going to cut your own finger. Uh -huh. So what do you do? You just put your finger in. down. Exactly. The fingertips. And if you get like this, you see, you don't... Use in your yeah, yeah, knuckles. You can uh -huh. talk and do anything you want. So always that thing's going to be inside. Here I got the mushroom. All right. 
And there is no Italian food, obviously, without the garlic. You gotta have the garlic. <laughs> and the salt and pepper. You know, I like to do a little bit of salt and pepper before, if you don't mind, you can salt the salt oil and for me. Okay. And a little bit of pepper also. Whatever you say, boss. No, no you're the boss. <laughs> we're we're no, learning no, you're from the you. Boss. <laughs> and I'm gonna put the garlic. So garlic, in a two way you can do, you can do somebody, for example, doesn't wanna really test the, uh, eat the garlic. You can put them in the sauce, and you can take them away. Take them and away later before on. you serve it. Yes, sure. exactly. Or you can do the way I like it. Mm -hmm. Keep all the vampire out of our life, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Put the garlic like this here. Yeah, I think the days of people being squeamish about garlic are yeah. probably behind us. Yeah, you think? So when this one is getting the brown, yeah, this is perfect. So we're going to take this one later on. on. Okay. And uh, at the same time, I'm going to talk about the wine and the cheese. And, okay. you know, the cheese, we need to use saltier dry aged cheese. So you can use Parmigiano Reggiano. You can use Pecorino Romano. You can use Ricotta Salata. So all these things tra translate dry with the salt flavor inside. Okay. 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 So, and also the... If you don't want to over salt also, Craig, and uh, your oil and your sauce because Parmigiano got lots of salt. Yes. So you don't want to over salt. It and the Pecorino Romano perfect. even you more salt. Absolutely. This point, I so, just like, can I have your salt? Of course. Time? Yeah. And the garlic is just beginning to brown here. Perfect. So. Yeah, that, the brown is the key. That's an indicator that yeah. we need to do the next thing. So I put my arm side. Did that burn you? Okay. Well, only in a good way. Oh, yeah, that, 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 <laughs> sorry for that. But, but you're yeah, right, cut, cut that way, yeah, it really you know, does cook up yeah. fast, doesn't it? You, look at it coming up. you know, a lot of times people are intimidated by buying a whole tenderloin of beef. Yes. But if you do that, there's really good value in it. You get Absolutely. so many meals out yeah. of that. Yeah. And when you get this point and you add your mushroom. So remember, when the mushroom gonna go in, as you guys know, the mushroom is a 90% water. So you gotta be very careful when you're adding the other ingredient with it. So we're gonna cook most of that water off. I yes, that's, that's, the, that's the whole name of the game. So I got this point here. And I have demi-glaze, which is a reduction of the bitter stuff we do at the restaurant. But at home, you can make your own if you don't have a time. You can buy them the package they come in a small package. Oh, sure. okay. And another thing, George, you got to be worried about, those things normally are salty. So please make sure you test it before you add more salt into it. And also, if the recipe says, this is not one for everybody, the recipe says two minutes, three minutes, you got to remember, every stove, every burner is different. That's right. So if the restaurant is using 17,000 BTU, you're at home using 9,000 BTU, so don't worry about the time is a two minutes. Oh, I got to take them out, Mauro said two mm -hmm. minutes. So worry about your That's own. That's so true. You know, and worry sometimes about your we own try things. to multiply a recipe. In a restaurant, right. you're doing one or two yeah. orders Absolutely. at a time. Absolutely. At home, you're doing it for six or eight. Exactly. Yeah. Everything slows down exactly. because it's the larger volume. Can we turn over there the pasta and see what's happening over there? Yeah, I gave it a stir a few minutes okay. ago. Awesome. Oh. Right. It's, it's and, not uh, sticking together, but it's yeah. not quite perfect. opaque. Perfect. That's, That's the way we want it. And the pasta is a perfect time to talk about. I like the pasta. Can I have your tongues for a second? Of course. Would you bring one pasta out with your tongues? Okay. Only one or two, yes. You want to be bended like that. That's the thing is undercooked right now. Uh -huh. If it's not bending, then it's very alchemento. Right now it's a bending, that means it's a good timing alchemento. for us. Alchemento, I don't know that word. is a concrete. Okay. <laughs> like a concrete. So this is, is a little bit of undercooked, which is going to be perfect for our application. Okay. I'm going to explain to you why. Thank you. So we want this to keep point, it under. Yes, we're going to take it. You can turn that one off a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of the demi glaze. We just okay. talked about it. A little bit of I red love wine. This already. Yeah, thank you. A little bit of red wine, but don't be picky about the red wine, okay? Okay. If it's good for you to drink, I hope you don't mind. I want to sip a little bit. Yeah, Salute okay. to everybody. <laughs> Tutto bene. Grazie. If it's good for you to drink, you can use them for your sauce also. Now, marinara. You guys, that's another thing. Recipe called for marinara, doing this one, doing different. But tomato, when they harvest, it depends what time of year you pick them up. Ah. If it's the late August, it's gonna be low sugar. Interesting. If it's the day, you know, early the summer, you gotta be high sugar, you gotta be very worried about these things. Okay. So do your own things at home and add ingredient however you go. Do not follow exact, I'm the Good first idea. one gonna tell you, 
do not follow exact same recipe because it's going to be changed right. with your time you buy in the can of tomato and everything. Oh, more so this is, is really uh, this is good. a restaurant oh, one. This is my nana. Thank you. Fine. My nana should be very, very uh, consistency things going. Not too much water. You can see here. Mm -hmm. Not too dry. Nice and smooth. So you can exactly. It's like a cream way. Yeah. I pour it for you. Beautiful. I never really think of marinara as an ingredient in and of itself. Yes, but, but it, it is, is isn't it? Really is, you know. And then, uh, as I said, the time is always a matter. What time they pick them up, and what time. And I like to buy the can, George. There is nothing be added. I like to control my sauce right. myself. Yes. Sometimes they have a basil on them or mm -hmm. garlic added. That is is different. Buy your own. Because you need to be control of these things. And make it the way you like it. Absolutely. Make and it the way, way you exactly. like it. Exactly. Make it the way you like it. This is so, almost a thing in itself already. It really yeah, is. Yeah, this I, is, you know, you got it the perfect way to consistency. You can pour that into a bowl and just set it in front of me. I'd be so fine. That's fine. Now, at this point, we can pick up our pasta, put them in here. OK. And I got a little bowl here for us. All right. Let me move this all sure. the way. All right. You Thanks, say George. when on the pasta. Yeah. Do you I want all know. the water to come off or leave a little no, bit No, a little bit of water should be inside. OK. All right. Perfect. Oh More? My. Yeah, please, why not? Is all, all, all fat free? We're gonna be enjoying them. You know, I'm lying to you, my nose getting a little longer, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I love the pasta. My wife I wants more too. sauce, less yeah. pasta. Yeah. I like plenty of pasta with less you know, sauce. Your wife, is she Italian? No. But how she know gonna be more pasta, less sauce? That's me. That's very important. <laughs> now, that's because you're Italian, yes. It's because my ancestors come yeah. from Emilia Romagna. Oh, that's where you got Atkinson, huh? No, not those ancestors. Okay, the other one. <laughs> There's bikinis. <laughs> okay. So we can turn them off the, uh, the burner right now. This is the point, it's a very important. I told you I was gonna teach you a little something. The pasta water, can you put uh, a little bit of pasta water? Uh -huh. That's okay. the thing, it's not in a recipe, please. And we're not telling this one recipe because you don't know how much pasta water they're gonna use, right. what they're gonna use, how they're gonna use. So remember the salt you add in the pasta water? Yes. Now the flavor gonna be inside here. It doesn't matter how good you cook or how professional you are not, or you are, the pasta water always tight all the sauce for you. All right. So the, you can never go wrong at a little bit of pasta water. In I fact, in Italy, the moms save the pasta water to make a... Uh, okay, let's... Okay. Don't do this one at home, please, because, <laughs> you know, your spa is going to kill you. Okay, can okay. never let... Uh, yes. So can I put it right in there? Please. Oh, my. This is awesome. Ah. And then, beautiful, Greg, right? and then a little bit of cheese like this. You know, when it, when it looks that um, good, I, I sometimes forget the nominator. When you're using the basil on the top, George, it's very important. If you're going to use a diced basil, you better use it right away. Otherwise, you can break basil because it's going to more flavor. Thank you. And it doesn't need to be so beautiful. Remember, you guys eating at home. Wait, I'm yeah. not done yet. <laughs> a little bit of olive oil. You got to shine it. Magnifico. Yeah. And then a little bit, I gotta go, oh, um, oh, um, that means uh, a perfect go for it. What's the um, oh, um? Um, um, is the magic word, you know? Okay. It's gonna come like, a, you know, you, you're gonna do from your heart. I like that. <laughs> I do too, I'm trying to get some of this here. Okay, I gotta see if it really has the um, oh, um. Yes, you gotta try that one. <laughs> mm. Is it good? It's mm -hmm. very good. Mm. Mine was good, but not this good. Why is that? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you're going to be cooking next 20 more years to come in this good. <laughs> but we're not going to talk about that, remember? <laughs> so, how is it, guys? You, you like it? Oh, wonderful. Thank Carl, you. thank you well, so it's very, pleasure, very much. It's a pleasure, George. Thank and you. And Bob, thank you for Perfect. Thank you so I'm much. I'm glad you so enjoyed this a little bit more. 1 800 This is. This is a fantastic show. If you don't like the recipes in this book, you don't like to eat. Okay, give us a call.